Welcome to Geek Buzz. I'm Nixie Pixel here to talk about nerdy stuff that tickles my neurotransmitters, like big company drama and Bill Gates' charity going down the toilet. Literally. Brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. <laughs> Before I get into some crazy dramatic shenanigans, so let's talk space. You guys may be curious about Curiosity, the rover that landed on Mars a couple weeks ago. We haven't really heard anything from it since. The long period of silence is probably NASA running diagnostics and tests on the little bugger because you never know how much damage you actually incur when you crash land on a foreign planet. <laughs> they have to update the firmware. Ooh, wouldn't that be awful if they bricked the rover? Actually, Curiosity seems to be doing just fine, so much so that they're ready to send it on its first drive. It's about a mile away from where it landed, called Glenelg, and that sounds like an orcish city in World of Warcraft. Check out this map of where it's headed. I know this may be unrealistic, but I want to watch a live stream of this baby's adventures. Especially when it tests out the most uber laser ever to be fired on an alien world. It's meant for blasting rocks out of the rover's path, not exterminate Martians or anything. Speaking of creating doodads and gizmos, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation wants to reinvent something so fundamental that it'll change the way that 40% of Earth spends their time. They want to fix the toilet, the commode, the porcelain fairy. Be it the lack of running water, electricity, or sewer lines, 2.6 billion people don't have a toilet. Keeping those people in mind, Bill Gates offered a $100,000 prize to the group that could recreate the toilet to be efficient, and here's who won. The California Institute of Technology came up with this. It generates electricity by a solar-powered electrochemical reactor that transforms the hydrogen from poop into fuel. It's also silkscreen printed in an electrochemical cell so it can be reproduced cheaply. Now that's an idea I can get behind. I made a punny. If you've heard of gaming on the cloud, then you've probably heard of OnLive because it's a huge company dedicated to it. Personally, I'm really excited for the service because it means I don't have to perpetually, constantly drain my wallet upgrading my PC. Over and over, I have no life. Despite singing its praises, I haven't actually subscribed and I'm starting to think that I'm not alone in this since a bunch of OnLive employees were seen leaving the headquarters recently with all their belongings in boxes. So I guess I don't have to mention there's also emails from employees that read, OnLive as an entity will no longer exist. So OnLive lays off almost 200 people, then they file so they can transfer all their assets to a nameless venture capitalist company. It just seems like they're doing all of this to avoid going bankrupt. They're supposedly offering jobs back to at least half of the people that they terminated, and for the people using the service, they've issued an official comment saying that OnLive will go on like usual business. In the meantime, we gamers can hold out for Sony and GameStop, and the cloud gaming companies they bought out to replace OnLive. I, for one, welcome our new big company overlords. Do you think gaming on the cloud will finally catch on? Let me know in a comment below, and until next time, I will talk nerdy to you later. You can do pretty much whatever you want around me. Be naked in public, walk your gerbil on a leash downtown, own a pog collection, it's all pretty harmless and I usually mind my own business. The exception to that would be if you decide to drive drunk. Two years ago on Labor Day weekend, 54% of drivers my age that were killed in car crashes were intoxicated. But we don't have to accept that statistic this year. In a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving, the police will be out in force from August 15th to September 3rd. They want you to avoid committing one of America's most deadly crimes, so drive sober or get pulled over. I don't really want to look after that gerbil.